we're back again everybody here in downtown beautiful evening in another beautiful location just sort of relaxing but even more so than that we're also celebrating we're celebrating the fact that this channel thanks to you guys has almost hit 200 subscribers and i was looking around and i thought to myself we should do like you know what other people do other channels we should do a little bit of a celebration so for 200 subscribers i decided to go and get a little special treat one now hold on i don't want to talk about that yet i just wanted to say that we haven't quite hit 200 yet but i don't like to gate my content okay i hate that when content is gated so we're doing this video before we have 200 subscribers but if one of you or several of you or all of you watching this wanted to go ahead and subscribe to this channel we can hit that 200 and then i've got other plans i'll share with you in a second but now let's introduce sort of the celebration we are using today this now before i get into exactly what this is maybe we should take a picture real quick with this guy and then we can introduce it so let's get this rolling here Oh, right off the bat. Oh my goodness. So maybe you've already guessed it. This is, I believe this is the, what is the name on this guy? I don't even know the name of it. This is the TT Artesian 50 millimeter F 1.4 tilt lens. The cool thing about this lens is it's only $200. Just so happens that fits right in with our 200 subscriber goal. What is also cool about this thing is the absolute insanity it gives you in terms of focus. I mean, what is going on with these photos? This is just, this is just way, way too cool. Okay, so for those who may not be familiar with a tilt shift lens, that is the typical flavor that they come in. They come in one sort of lens that does two functions, tilting and shifting. Shifting is what architects and architectural pho uh, photographers use to keep the lines parallel to each other, nice and straight. But this tilt, and this lens only has the tilt function, which is probably why it's only $200. The tilt function is what gives you that absolutely insane, insanely thin focal plane. And that is the function of the tilt lens. So here we are, kind of dial in the direction of the tilt and then the severity of the tilt. I mean, it's just, it's bonkers. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I've never used this lens outdoors before. This is our, what's up? You want a camera? You want a photo? Here, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get here. You ready? Let me know when you're ready. All right, let me get you focused. You looking good. Here we go. One, two, three. I got you. You want to see you? Put me in that camera, man. Look at that, man. Okay, and put me in the book too. You got it. Put me in the What's book. What's your name? Herman. Herman? H-E-R-M-A-N. Herman, I'm Ben. Put me in the book, man. A absolute pleasure. I will. And thanks to Herman there, we just got a really, really cool example of how this thing works with portraits. It's already starting out great. Let's keep going. Let's not stop. Now, I haven't messed around with this lens at all. I got it two days ago. Yesterday, I kind of walked around with my, with the lens around my yard so I could test it, kind of get a feel for what it could do. But this is our first trial out here in the city. So let's 
take it out and see what we got. And whatever we do, we have got to remember to put Herman in the book. And we will. If there's ever a book, Herman goes in it. This lens is uh, this lens is bonkers. I don't know how else to explain it. I mean, it's just weird how we can get that stack all the way in the back and focus. Just trying to get that car just oh. How cool is that? How cool is that? Does that mean... Let me try something here real quick. Can we put this, just this in focus? Oh my God. Oh, let me do this. Let's go. Uh, there's so many dials. I don't know how to work this thing yet. All right, let's try that. I mean, it basically just looks like Photoshop. Looks like we're doing some sort of crazy Photoshop maneuvering here, man. See if we can get somebody here. It's 100% manual focus. It's hard to get it in focus. So, okay, let's talk about this lens real quick. It's 100% manual. That means the aperture is manual. The focusing is manual. I'm gonna just go ahead and leave this at uh, 1.4 on the aperture. I just need to have like less for my brain to process. I'm not really good in that, uh, in that department of like keeping track of a whole bunch of settings. Man. You know what? Let's get when this lens is sort of zeroed out, like it's at zero degrees, zero degrees, it's just a 1.4, so we'll play with that a little bit, but right now I'm just so entranced by the craziness that it delivers in terms of focal link wackiness. I, I just can't help it. I gotta use it this way. I don't, I ain't got a choice, man.
man. This, this is gonna be crazy. Dark. Yeah, real dark. Come back to me. saying one dollar for ice cold water or a hundred dollars I mean, that is just, that's so cool. That is just so ridiculously cool. I mean, that's so cool that we can kind of like carve out a column of focus and like that's our person you know what i mean like that's that's what we're going to focus on this is uh this is kind of some of the most fun i've had playing with a new lens in a long time other lenses are like technological marvels this one is not this is just a i mean i'm not going to call it a gimmick but you know it's definitely one of those lenses where you just kind of you get to play and that's that's a fun experience Like a picture like that is awesome. All right, usually this place is closed, but it's Saturday, it's gotta be open. It's Saturday, it's gotta be open. <laughs> it's never open. This lens is so cool.
we know this place. This is one of our favorite uh, Couldn't agree more. This guy. Things just got re got really blue there. I like it. I like it a lot, actually, love. This is like just a weird and awesome experience. We just gonna set these little dials so they've got a little bit of a You'll be able to see this easier than I am, but like the edges have that cool sort of swirly bokeh that like the edges kind of curl in on themselves. I love that. That's cool because I can set that focal plane to be along that reflection. Well, look out there, Mr. Big Squirrel. tilt this at some pretty non-standard angles too so let's try that oh it's just so cool man let's not break a knee have it just like pop out like a hockey puck hit this couple in the face Somebody fell into the pool and melted away. What flag is that? I don't even know what flag that is, man.
see what I can do here with this guy. Somebody trying to burn out the rev limiter. in focus or not. We may never know. We may never know. All right. Let's see if I can get... Oh, it's just a beautiful mess of shapes. Just a beautiful mess of shapes right there. to just see a subject and yank them out. Just <laughs> what about in dark spots, huh? Interesting. not a great telephoto lens so you're not really punching in on anything but you know 50 millimeter is kind of the sweet spot for a lot of people for obvious reasons interesting because I feel like um, because I'm messing with so many dials I'm having to retrain my composition brain my little animal reptile brain that kind of pays attention to the world around me I'm trying my best to convince it to do a couple things at once you know this way here, huh?
course. Look at this guy. Um, the cycling uh, LEDs. Makes it appear like some of the letters are burned out. All right, here's our selective focus. Uh... Our homework. Do horizontal maybe? Well, horizontal along the plane, I mean. Yeah, like that legit is really cool. Oh, I've done wedding photography here too. What do you guys think about something like that? Kind of a cool effect. Probably the best I've ever gotten that chandelier to look, to be honest with you. That thing vexes the heck out of me. I want to know what that guy's origin story is. In case you're wondering how we are manually focusing this mess, so we're using the focus peaking, which maybe is getting picked up by the camera. It may not be, I don't know. My apologies if it's impossible to see what's going on here. to look into perhaps somebody's apartment window but I promise you it's we're we're good people we're not doing anything dirty only the uh, mostly the best intentions mostly like 80% the best 880 to, to 70 
I would be dead in the water without the focus peaking. I should also mention today, this is not the R5. This is just the EOS R. Uh, the only reason why that's true is because I've used this camera with uh, manual lenses before, and you have to go through all the menu settings to set them up in order to actually use the shutter if you don't have like an actual lens it just it doesn't see anything right it doesn't know that there's any lens attached at all because i do believe if we take this off i think yeah there's there's no um no electronical electronical there's no electronic contacts so it doesn't even know there's a lens attached So instead of going through the trouble of setting up the R5 to work, I just, uh, I just, you know, this one already works. So what's the big deal? You know what I mean? Yeah, looking good. I like it. We'll take it. It's ours now. So I wanted to talk to you about future milestones, basically subscriber numbers and things like that. It just so happened that this one worked out that for the 200th subscriber, I bought a $200 lens. But then I thought, wouldn't it be cool if for $500, we could buy a lens for $500 at 500 subscribers? And then I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we could get a $1,000 lens for 1,000 subscribers? And then just keep moving up the milestones, 5,000, 10,000, et cetera. Now, there comes a point where I can't afford these lenses but we could always rent them, find them, beg to borrow if need be. focus here on this thing. That's pretty cool. Let me see if I can get something here. In fact, we can probably tighten that. 
one down. Yeah, that works. Uh-oh, somebody's in trouble. It's pretty crazy, but I kind of like the way these photos look. I mean, like, I can make you look exactly where I want you to look using the focus on this thing. What do we got going on here? It's trying to, uh, trying to get the lighting good there but it, that wasn't happening let's do this let's go to my normal we'll bump up the ISO to like 800 let's make sure that car is not coming I mean, that's it. I keep saying it, but I think that's cool. Oh man, hold on. I just saw this crazy old building over here. You can't see it. I don't think this lens will be able to get it. It's like the perfect. Let me just see. All right, well, now's a good time to talk about the sharpness of this lens. In short, it's kind of not. Um, I think we all knew that. I don't think anybody's surprised. But when I was walking around and messing with it yesterday just to kind of check the sharpness and things like that, it was really evident. Because don't forget, I'm also shooting at f1.4 and only the most expensive lenses are clear at f1.4 I'll tell you what we're going to do let's do this we have our little zoom in feature and there we go Oh yeah, the lens is like one of the 
least sharp lenses you could get at f1.4 i mean it's a 200 dollars lens so you know take with it what you will i actually really enjoy this so far this is this is pretty cool and the ability to sort of pick things out like that. is kind of neat as well. How red can we get here before these like things become not so red? No. I feel like we need to wait. Gotta come up again, right? Let's go this way. Let's keep moving, love. I mean, we have a, a street with steam rising out of it. If we don't take advantage of this somehow, we are putting no effort into the night. All right, the first thing I want to do is possibly get one of these cars going through that. turn pink again. Appreciate that, thank yeah, you. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, That's right? crazy. I'll take That's that all awesome. night long, yeah. man. You get, good, you get a good shot? Uh, dude, check this shit. Wow, that's awesome. Absolutely. Oh, seriously? Absolutely. You yeah. got Instagram? I do. Uh, I pull can it. Can we get a photo? Uh, man, of course <laughs> you can. Are you kidding me? Let's get it this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it this way. Let's not let's not mess around here. Yeah. All right, lads, let me just get you all focused up. One. Two, let me, I'm just waiting for that building to come in the background a little bit there. Hold on one sec, one sec, just waiting for that building. There it is, there it is, there it is. All right, all right, all right. My Instagram. Yo, check this out. Oh. <laughs> Forget about it. Wait, how do you do that? Man, I got this crazy ass lens, there's all types of weird Heck. Shit, man. I can give you my Instagram, I'll just follow you right now. Let's go for it. I don't have Instagram. I can, I can give you mine. Let's make it right happen. Now. Sell Thank whatever you, you so have. All right, lads. I'll, I'll tag you on my story. Hey, have a good one, man. Absolutely, you. man. Have a great one. Woo! Heck. Oops. Bad language.
kind of want to get this blue. I really like this blue here. As soon as I say that, it turns to white. It's like I don't even mind the cars with this thing, you know what I'm saying? Across this street. This guy driving without his lights on. Good day to get just cream. see something We never seen this before. Brightest, uh,
<laughs> what you need? Need a picture of you? Come on, come on. All right, hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Stand, stand like, stand like, stand like right here. Like face that way. All right, but stand there. Stand there. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, right, take it one step back. One step back. I'm sorry. There you go. Right there. Just like that. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, boom. Here, let me show you. Let me show you. There you are, man. I got you, man. I got you. You too. Dude, everybody getting a picture tonight. There we go. I knew we'd find it. Some of these places tonight just look so, like, like almost sterile. What's up, man? You too. a mess but I like it. 
but, but I'm kind of a mess. So takes one to know one, man. Oh, let's do this. Nope, that's not it. Oh, it was it. Dang it. Yeah, he's the mayor of your city. <laughs> <laughs> this will be it. This is our last photo of the night. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed your evening with me here in the city, doing the things that we always do, having a good time doing it. Have an amazing afternoon, evening, morning, whatever's going on. Thank you for watching, please feel free. In fact, it would be greatly appreciated if you could like and subscribe to this video. Please feel uh, leave a comment at the bottom. It means a lot to a tiny channel like me. Every subscription just boosts the heck out of this thing. And I'm looking forward to doing more with you guys. Remember, please, always keep it street. And peace.